1985, Marshall and Terry welcomed Rachel into their world. But they soon learned that they would be called to enter her world instead. When she was about 15 months old, she had just finished her afternoon nap. Uh, she was standing and fussing as she looked out the window. So I called her name, Rachel, expecting as she'd wheel around and do the big, you know, hug to daddy. No action, no reaction whatsoever. So I called again, Rachel, louder. Still no reaction. And then finally, I, I, I yelled as loudly as I thought I could without getting in trouble with the neighbors. Rachel! Nothing. Then I flipped the light switch on, and she wheeled around, and I got the big grin, and the big arms wide open, and, and then I knew right there, she just, that she wasn't hearing us. She just wasn't hearing us. Rachel was introduced to these other children, all of whom had hearing aids. She ran to me and she pointed and pointed to them and pointed at her ear and pointed to them and said, same, me, same. And I'm, I'm dissolved into tears. It was a residential program. So that meant that she would be living at the deaf school through the week, come home on a bus on the weekends. What she didn't understand was the whole idea of staying there through the week. I had no way of knowing how to explain that to her. I think she thought she was being abandoned. So I get in my car. And I'm just crying like a baby, and I think, what kind of a father does this to a child? In a silent world, how can one hear the voice of God? Rachel and her family were about to find out.